Okay, in this here project here, the executive desk that I've been working on here, I'm in the stage here now where I'm ready to start putting uh, the handles on to the jaws, and the uh, guy wants to use antlers for the uh, jaw pulls, and I got uh, five of these jaws to put together like this, and uh, got some flats here on the antler here to be able to put against the jaw front, but I got to come up with a way where I can uh, get the holes marked out. To drill on the antler itself, and then also to drill onto the uh, jaw front, I have to make a template. And uh, I thought this would be a nice video to make to share, and also just a document for myself. Also, the techniques I'm going to do to try to make this uh, work this way. So uh, I'm going to work this through here, and uh, stay tuned. I guess the first thing to do would be to put my plywood on here. This is going to be my uh, to line up put a template here and get it uh, on center here this way and then look for a center what I need to look for here is uh, just the best possible looks of this centered up and make a mark I would say probably like that maybe line it up and just getting a uh, reference mark drawn out here getting a reference mark drawn out just to get the first screw in here and I think something like that will do I got that uh, lined up on the drawer itself I'll do is I will drill through here first and then drill through the antler and get the first one on here and then I can adjust that up and down to make the next mark on this side. thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to, <coughs> I'm going to use this here board here just to uh, get it lined up, try to get it as square as possible using this board as a uh, square platform. Now I need to get a brace on the bottom here. One last check here, make sure it looks nice and square, which looks good. Okay, so there's a the setup right there. It's a clamp inside a vise, a uh, sturdy block here to keep that from bending down. And uh, now we'll go ahead and drill this and tap that. So I lined the uh, template back up with the lines I had marked here. There's the lines. I've got it lined back up here now. I wanted that. And now adjust that underneath the drill bit there. Right there.
little bit of tapping here. <clears throat> by hand here. Using 1024 thread. Now I can use this. <coughs> I can move this around to get the other line where I need it at, and I can do the same thing. Drill on this side. But this time I'll drill right through the, the plywood end at the same time, so the template can be made uh, precisely that way. Now this allows me to set this in position where I want it at, and then I can get this other line lined up. I can move this to where I need to get it at and then get that tight. Okay, let's get this thing clamped now. I'll transfer this mark to the side here. About an inch and a half. Let's get pretty close there. Take that back to here. 
looks like about right there. It looks like it's gonna be in the center right there. Mm-hmm. Yep, that should do it. Okay, got everything set up here now, clamped, ready to go. Okay, the next thing I need to do here now is put a couple standoffs in here, at least one here for sure, and get some support. So what I did, I, I ground a piece of uh, steel here that I made a standoff with, I drilled through there. I'm making a mark here on the thing itself here, and <coughs> I got that mark there. And so what I'll do now is I'll take this down a little bit and I'll drill the center of this, and then I will put that back up there and then I'll bring the drill bit through and touch off here, and then drill through here while it's still on the, on the uh, front here.
Now he wanted these here tangs on here like this. Uh, he might he might change them change them later on. He may uh, shorten them a little bit later on. But here's what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drill drill to the inside here and come out now and touch off on that on that handler. There's a hole I just drilled in on the inside here to come into the antler right back here, right here. So now I can uh, drill a little further through there, tap that, and then put the standoff through there in the, in the bolt. He wanted some standoffs in here, he said, to give us some support on top here, so that when you pull the drawers out, got better strength on the top here. Okay, that's good and solid, real good solid on top here. Now I ain't gonna move, and I say that yours done. I got uh, six more to do yet. Two small ones and uh, another big one. Big one the bottom, two small ones, and our big one yet. And I got some uh, things to put on here too. Little buttons on there. Okay, that's, that was just a demonstration of um, of a technique I can use to line these up on the drawers by using some templates. That helps me get a square on the table so I can drill through a square. Also helps me to line it up on the drawer to get both sides lined up. And then once again the drawer, then I'm able to drill through the back side into the front to get lined up the drill bit and the uh, tap when it comes to uh, any kind of standoffs on top like this here where it might be needed. Okay, that's all for now. We are all mounted on here. And uh, this is what the guy wanted, but I'll tell you what, though, these have to be cut down. They definitely have to be cut down into small little nubs, that's for sure. Got the two small pull-out pull -out drawers here, small drawers, big drawers, and then a couple pull-outs for uh, on top of the writing desk to uh, uh, slide out two of those. Okay, so that's uh, putting antlers on, drawers for drawer pulls, and uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.